Hello, my name is Andy Traub. I'm a member of the 48days.net advisors team, and I help with the technology aspects of the site, along with some other talented folks who are part of this network. This tutorial's purpose is to show you how to sign up for 48days.net and set up your uh, custom page. So we're going to click sign up right here on the top right. And we're going to set up with an email address, an active email address, and a password. And go ahead and please put your accurate birth date. We strive for some transparency here on the network. We want to get to know each other and know each other well. And part of that starts with just filling out your profile correctly. So we're going to sign up there. And I've already filled this out once, so it's got a lot of things filled in for me, uh, a lot of my answers. And so fill those in uh, as accurately as you can, please. And do take time to fill that out really helped us get to know you better and have a better network. So as you can see here, I'm signed in now. So I can sign out up here. And I can see I have friends and inbox and so on and so forth. But we're, we're going to skip this. What we're actually just focused on is this tab right here, which is my page. And this is your custom profile. Now, because I've used that email address with another Ning network, uh, this is the Ning platform that's built on, um, it brought over another picture. But I want to show you how to set up the picture. So Let's just go to Settings, and we're going to click right here, which is Choose File. And you want to find, preferably, a picture that's square. I'll use this one right here. And you find a picture that's square, and then you click Save. And it will upload that picture to your profile. So when you go back to My Page, uh, there it is right there. Now, this is a good example of a bad picture because it looks OK when it's small. But it is a very small picture, so when it increases its size, it gets very pixelated. So we're going to change the photo just by clicking Change Photo right there. That's another way you can change it. And click Choose File. I'm going to use a different picture, which is rectangular, but Ning is smart enough that they've cropped it and made it square. We'll go down and click Save. And we'll go back to My Page. And you can see there that's a much better picture. Now, there's a few things you can do, including managing your page order. So the first thing you need to understand is that you can, when you hover over these bars, move them around. So I'm going to click on a bar. I'm going to move it down. So my latest activity is what I've been doing on the network. The other part of this is that part of your activity and part of your comment wall, so on and so forth, you can have several things show up, several entries. So I'm going to click on Edit. And I don't want 16 events of my latest activity because that will make my page very long. Instead, I'm going to choose four. Just choose four events to be shown as activity. Then you can also choose what activity you want to get displayed. We'll skip that for now. So you just need to know that you can move these elements around, and you can also edit their uh, amount of information that they uh, populate. So we'll hit Save there. And again, you can always update what's going on with you, and you can also send it out to Twitter if you've linked a Twitter profile. Just by clicking right here, it's just a nice way for people to get to know you more. Another thing you can customize is if you hover over this, you see it turns yellow. If you double click on it, you can type any message you want. If you can type. So you can do a custom message there as well. So those are just a few ways that you can customize your page. And we'll get to more, uh, more detailed ways you can adjust your page in the future.